Welcome back to Perspective. If television show titles like I Love Lucy, The Honeymooners, and Sergeant Bilko sound familiar to you, you are either a Nickelodeon regular or a card-carrying member of that sturdy institution, the Medicare Club. Either way, you'll want to hear ABC Entertainment correspondent Bill Deal's story about a man Hollywood called King of the Half Hour. It's been called the golden age of television. Your show of shows, Milton Berle, the Colgate Comedy Hour, I Love Lucy, the Honeymooners, and great characters like Sergeant Bilko, played by Phil Silvers. And there was this one. Car 54, where are you? The stars of Bilko and Car 54 are familiar to many of us, but what's not well known is that the driving creative force behind those two shows was a man named Nat Hyken. Hyken's place in broadcast history as writer, producer, and director has now been given a fitting tribute in a new book by David Everett, King of the Half Hour, Nat Hyken, and the Golden Age of TV Comedy. Why did you think he merited a story? Well, when I was growing up, uh, my two favorite comedy shows on TV were Sergeant Bilko or Phil Silver's show, it was called at that time, and Car 54, Where Are You? Uh, being a kid, I didn't notice who actually wrote these things, uh, but later on, when I began to see reruns once I had grown up, uh, I noticed something curious that they both happened to be written, directed, and produced by the same guy. This name, Nat Hyken, kept on popping up. Let's talk about Phil Silvers. Come on, man, let's make this the last complaint we get. They've been watching this platoon like hawks since last summer when that tank showed up on the beach. <laughs> Sun worshiper. Of course, Phil Silvers was a... Uh, this is an example of one of the things Hyken did so well is to take uh, unrecognized talent or talent that wasn't getting the, all the recognition it deserved and coming up with a vehicle that could really make a star out of that person. He did that for Martha Ray, who was basically a Hollywood cast off when she came to TV. And with Phil Silvers, he was probably the greatest comedian of his generation. I think he was. And uh, the, the idea that uh, Hyken came up with right away Let's make you a you know, sneaky sergeant in the army. And, and it clicked. All right, men, here it is again, another complaint. Lieutenant Bigelow reports that he saw one of our trucks from the motor pool at the drive-in theater last night. <laughs> Fortunately, I was able to prove by the records there was no man from this platoon. Kadowski! Next time, don't leave your dog tags on a front seat. <laughs> He had this great ability, number one, to find, you know, very funny people and write for them like Phil Silvers, and he also worked for Milton Berle and Martha Ray. But he had this really uncanny talent for finding basically non-talents and non-performers and non-actors and making comedy stars out of them. He did this with Rocky Graziano on the Martha Ray show. He was just, he was at the end of his career looking for something. Hyken loved boxing. He met him and he fell in love with Graziano as practically everyone else did. And he put him on that show and just had him be himself. And Hyken created material that would allow him to be funny. And he did it again with Joey Ross on Car 54. A hold up in the Bronx, Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short at child cruise ships to an idle wild. Car 54, where are you? Was that uh, uh, Nat Hyken's last big hurrah, really? It was, and it was the last big hurrah for New York television. It was interesting. This in 1961, there were three big primetime shows being done in New York. Everything else had gone to California. What was so funny about uh, Al Lewis? Of course, what he had, which Hyken always loved, is an incredible face, you know, which would just crease and fold with every change of expression. How does a cop keep losing his gun? How? When you're a man like Tootie with lots of things on his mind, and there is no mind, that's not. <laughs> Judy! Oh, Officer Schnauzer. Judy? Ed. How do you do? Hello. This is Judy Sanford. She works at Antoine's, where most of our wives get their hair done. And he started out, actually, on that show, doing a bit part, and a show, uh, an episode with Molly Pecan, incidentally, and it was just such a great audience reaction that Hyken then created a character for him, the, the great uh, Leo Schnauzer, Officer Leo Schnauzer. David, when did Hyken pass away? 
It was in 1968 while editing this movie, The Love God, and I believe that really was a factor in his death because here he saw it just unraveling before his eyes, and here was a master comedy craftsman and a great perfectionist, and no matter what he did, he couldn't save this movie. And it uh, fortunately was a very limited release, so it was e easily forgotten. Not forgotten, however, Hyken's accomplishments on television. Sergeant Belko! What is it? What, 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 what? Car 54, where are you? King of the Half Hour is the book by David Everett, the story of one of TV's early creative geniuses, Matt Hyken. For Perspective, I'm Bill Deal, ABC News.